Hey, it's Joe, and in this video, I'd like to go over how to get started with Selenium, which is a Docker-based Selenium grid solution. It's really easy to get up and running. In my previous post, I went over what is Selenium. Now, in this video, I'd like to go over how to actually get started with Selenium. So I'll show you how to install Selenium, how to go to the dashboard, and then we're going to use Selenium IDE to actually run some tests against Selenium. So we have two awesome open source solutions that can get you up and running with test automation really quickly out of the box with no cost. So really cool solutions. Check it out. Let me know what you think. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure Docker is running. So I do have Docker. It's up and running on my machine. So I'm just going to go to my terminal and run a few commands to get Selenium installed and up and running. So the first command we're going to run is for Selenium. Okay, awesome. That passed. Now we're going to pull Zelenium down. That also passed, so now we're just going to start up Zelenium. And that's how fast it is to get up and running. You know it's running when you get that message, Zelenium is now ready. All right, so let's take a look at the dashboard. So once it's installed, when you go to the dashboard URL, you'll notice a message saying waiting for the dashboard. It'll be ready once the first video is loaded. So let's actually run a quick test and then take a look at the results within Zelenium. Okay, so once again, I'm going to leverage a previous video that I did earlier. This one was using the new Selenium IDE. So I'm actually going to use that script I created in this post. You'll have a link to it in the show notes. And then I'm going to run it against Zelenium. And if you haven't seen my previous video, I highly recommend it. All this script does is it goes to my test page, it just types in my name, and then it chooses an operating system, and it returns the value of the operating system. That's all it does. But let's see how we can get up and running with this script on multiple instances within Zelenium with little effort. So let's check that out. So I'm just going to open up a new terminal, and I'm going to run the joedemo.side Selenium IDE script I created in that previous video and demonstrate how you can actually easily point it to the Selenium grid we just started up in Docker and run multiple instances of a test. So cool stuff. Let's check it out. So in order to run Selenium IDE, we're going to use the Selenium IDE runner. So the first command is to invoke the Selenium side runner. The next one is the server of where we'd like the script to run. Since it's local, it's going to be your standard localhost server command. And then the last command is the name of the Selenium script we want to run. This one's called Joe Demo. All right, so now that we have our command, let's hit enter and see what happens. And as always, I break everything. I did a fat finger, I did a typo. So let's spell it correctly. All right, awesome. So once you have the correct command in without any typos, notice it passed. So let's go back to our Zelenium dashboard and see what it looks like. All right, cool. So here's the main Zelenium dashboard. If we go to one of the tests that ran, what's really neat about Zelenium is it actually records automatically without you doing anything what happened during that test run. So let's select one of these tests and notice how it plays back exactly what happened during that test run. It also captures the logs automatically. So you can look at the Selenium log, what happened, and also the browser driver log. Also, when you select the test run, it will show you what date it ran on, uh, what platform, the screen dimensions, where it ran from. Really cool stuff right out of the box. So if you're looking for running your tests against Selenium Grid, and you don't have to manage it yourself, Selenium is an awesome solution. And also pair that with Selenium IDE and that Selenium IDE runner, and you get a pretty cool end-to-end -end solution out of the box so you can get started automating your tests right away with minimal effort. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, why not like, subscribe, and share this video? I really appreciate it. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.